North Korea released the first images of its spy satellite mounted rocket that crashed into the Yellow Sea Wednesday. Images that were captured as it lifted off from the island scenery of Dongchangni in North Pyongan province. This picturesque location is in the same vicinity as North Korea's past rocket launches from Sohe Satellite Launching Station. But the actual launch pad used this time appears to be around three kilometers away and built more recently. The rocket itself, a three-stage space launch vehicle, is estimated to be 30 meters in length with a shorter first stage than expected, using liquid fuel based on the appearance of the flames and likely the same engine structure as the North's Hwasong-17 intercontinental ballistic missile. From North Korea's perspective, it's released these images via state media for the rest of the world to see rather than its own people. And it may have done so to emphasize that this was indeed a satellite-mounted rocket rather than an intercontinental ballistic missile or another weapon system. The satellite being housed inside the blunt-shaped fairing on the top of the rocket compared with a warhead, for example, that would be much more streamlined. North Korea knows that the United States and others had already condemned the launch plan for breaking UN Security Council resolutions. And speaking from Washington after the failed launch, a spokesperson for the U.S. National Security Council insisted that the North must still be held accountable. John Kirby said that North Korea learns and improves with each launch, developing military capabilities that are a threat not only on the peninsula, but to the region. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's sister, Kim Yo-jong, hit back with a statement Thursday saying that if the North's satellite launch should be condemned, then the US and all other countries which have already launched thousands of satellites should be denounced. She also called the UN Security Council's resolutions banning Pyongyang's use of ballistic technology gangster-like, as she claimed the North's enemies are most afraid of Pyongyang having access to its own reconnaissance satellite. North Korea already announced Wednesday that it would not be wasting any time before having another go at launching a military spy satellite and Kim Yo-jong reiterated that the North will be correctly placing one into orbit soon. But first, the North needs to figure out exactly what went wrong beyond what they told us already, that it fell into the sea due to the abnormal starting of the second stage engine. South Korea is seeking answers too, having recovered part of the rocket from the Yellow Sea. Officials here are saying that if they're able to salvage key parts such as the satellite and the rocket's engine, it will provide important clues about North Korea's space-related know-how. Meanwhile, South Korea's spy agency, the NIS, reported to a parliamentary intelligence committee Wednesday that the North's rocket failure may have been caused by excessive change of the projectile's route. It's thought that the North may have rushed preparations after the South successfully launched its own homegrown space rocket last week and that the satellite itself is a small, low-orbit type that would only be able to carry out basic reconnaissance activities. And the NIS thinks it could take weeks for the North to be ready for another launch. Although we may be surprised if the problem or problems with the first launch turn out not to have been major. <laughs>